Welcome to the Multiplication Course. My name is Steve Wyborning, and this is 36 Triangles, Set 3. In this video, you will make a new set of triangles with the facts in a new order. When you are finished, your paper will look like this, and then you will have a chance to take a closer look at the relationships in the triangles. For this activity, you'll need a pencil and a blank piece of paper. Pause the video until you have those supplies ready. The first step is to draw 36 empty triangles. Before we draw the triangles, remember that you can pause the video whenever you like. If you want more time, simply click pause. We'll begin by drawing six triangles across the top. Draw the first triangle in this corner, draw the second one here, draw the third triangle here, draw the fourth triangle here, draw the fifth triangle here, and draw the sixth triangle here. And remember to pause the video whenever you want more time. You'll draw a second row of triangles, a third row, a fourth row, a fifth row, and a sixth row. Go ahead and pause the video now until you have finished drawing your triangles. On your paper, you have six rows of triangles. We'll fill each triangle in with two factors and a product. Let's begin with the top row. I'll fill these in. I'll read each one to you so you can copy it onto your paper. To make it a little easier, I'll show each one to you in a larger triangle. As I read each one, copy it onto your paper. Let's begin. The first one is five times two is equal to 10. Five times two is equal to 10. The next one is three times three is equal to nine. Three times three is equal to nine. The next one is four times two is equal to eight. Four times two is equal to eight. The next one is two times two is equal to four. Two times two is equal to four. The next one is five times three is equal to 15. Five times three is equal to 15. The next one is eight times two is equal to 16. 8 times 2 is equal to 16. Let's move to the next row. The next one is 4 times 3 is equal to 12. 4 times 3 is equal to 12. The next one is 3 times 2 is equal to 6. 3 times 2 is equal to 6. The next one is 5 times 4 is equal to 20. 5 times 4 is equal to 20. The next one is 6 times 2 is equal to 12. 6 times 2 is equal to 12. The next one is 5 times 5 is equal to 25. 5 times 5 is equal to 25. The next one is 7 times 2 is equal to 14. 7 times 2 is equal to 14. Let's move to the next row. The next one is 9 times 2 is equal to 18. 9 times 2 is equal to 18. The next one is 9 times 9 is equal to 81. 9 times 9 is equal to 81. The next one is 6 times 3 is equal to 18. 6 times 3 is equal to 18. The next one is 4 times 4 is equal to 16. 4 times 4 is equal to 16. The next one is 8 times 3 is equal to 24. 8 times 3 is equal to 24. The next one is 6 times 5 is equal to 30. 6 times 5 is equal to 30. Let's move to the next row. The next one is 6 times 6 is equal to 36. 6 times 6 is equal to 36. The next one is 7 times 3 is equal to 21. 7 times 3 is equal to 21. The next one is 9 times 4 is equal to 36. 9 times 4 is equal to 36. The next one is 6 times 4 is equal to 24. 6 
times 4 is equal to 24. The next one is 9 times 8 is equal to 72. 9 times 8 is equal to 72. The next one is 8 times 5 is equal to 40. 8 times 5 is equal to 40. Let's move to the next row. The next one is 7 times 4 is equal to 28. 7 times 4 is equal to 28. The next one is 7 times 5 is equal to 35. 7 times 5 is equal to 35. The next one is 9 times 3 is equal to 27. 9 times 3 is equal to 27. The next one is 8 times 4 is equal to 32. 8 times 4 is equal to 32. The next one is 9 times 7 is equal to 63. 9 times 7 is equal to 63. The next one is 9 times 5 is equal to 45. 9 times 5 is equal to 45. Let's move to the last row. The next one is 8 times 8 is equal to 64. 8 times 8 is equal to 64. The next one is 9 times 6 is equal to 54. 9 times 6 is equal to 54. The next one is 7 times 7 is equal to 49. 7 times 7 is equal to 49. The next one is 8 times 6 is equal to 48. 8 times 6 is equal to 48. The next one is 8 times 7 is equal to 56. 8 times 7 is equal to 56. And the last one is 7 times 6 is equal to 42. 7 times 6 is equal to 42. And now you have completed the third set of triangles. The next step is to explore these facts by covering them with three pieces of paper. One piece to cover the rows that you are not focusing on yet, another piece to cover the products, and a third piece of paper to cover the factors. Then slide the paper to reveal the factors. Think about what the product might be and say it out loud. And then to check, slide the other paper to reveal the product. Then think about how the factors are connected to the product and repeat the process. Slide this paper to reveal the factors, think about what the product might be and say it out loud, then think about how the factors are connected to the product and repeat the process. Slide this paper to reveal the factors and this paper to reveal the product. When you finish, shade in the ideas that you are very familiar with. So your paper might look something like this. Then go back and look for connections you didn't notice the first time. Look for big ideas, look for strategies, and then your paper might look like this. And the new triangles you shade might be some of the most important of all because those may represent some powerful ideas that you are developing. Go ahead and cover the triangles, shading them in, and look for powerful learning opportunities. This is the Multiplication Course. My name is Steve Wyborny, and this is 36 Triangles, Set 3.